Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of Who Is Mike? Now when we left off, we found quite a few different answers, and I've actually been playing this game for about 20-30 minutes now, and I finally think I figured out what I need to do. So I'm going to start from the beginning, just so you guys can get an idea of it. But I found a walkthrough guide that the developers gave, and what I need to do is when it says disagree with Mike, I thought it was just for certain things, but I think I need to just straight disagree with him on everything. So no matter what he goes with, I'm just going to click on the bottom. I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to say, you hit me with a bat. Um, fake has to leave. I'm just going to straight disagree with every single thing he has to say. That is, that is my idea and I'm hoping it works because I've been going through so many different options, thinking that I'm onto something, and then finding out that I'm not. Uh, it's not the game's fault, it's my own fault, because I'm not thinking the way the game wants me to think. So we're just gonna just keep going like this, we're gonna straight tell a lie, and hopefully we'll get some new options that come up out of it. So let me go ahead and save again, just because, okay. Oh, hang on, nope, 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 that's not what I, nope, I don't want to agree with him there. I want to say, no, I can't convince you. Does this give me any options? Sarah turned to the other mic. Oh, it did! Ooh, yay! Yes! Oh, please give me new options. Mike. Yes? Were you telling the truth about leaving the house if I think you're the fake? S Sarah? No! Sarah! I'm the real Mike! I don't know about that. I sighed with genuine pity. I'm sorry. Shut up! Sarah! Why? What did I do wrong? T tell me! You didn't do anything wrong. Both of you didn't. That's why this is so hard. Th then you have to believe me! I'm the real Mike! Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know what it's gonna say now. My instincts are telling me otherwise, and I'm pretty certain about it. Then your instincts are wrong. Will you just listen to me? The other Mike grabbed Sarah by the shoulders. Oh, this is different. This is different. This is good. Different is good. Sarah winced in discomfort. I think I already read that. Okay, push him away or calmly tell him off. Uh, let's, let's push him away first. I grabbed the guy at the collar and yanked him away from Sarah. He staggered for a bit. His eyes glinted with rage and hurt. We regarded each other with blinding hate. I could never forgive him for hurting Sarah. So his ego hurt. So Sarah said he was fake. Well, that just proves he is. This was the point of the whole exercise. And as far as I'm concerned, a stranger has no effing right to lay a finger on my girlfriend. I bared my teeth at him. I saved also. Don't you touch her, imposter. Other Mike gnashed his teeth. He picked up the wooden bat from the floor and charged at me. We rolled and struggled on the floor. I could feel his hot rage radiating from his skin like vapor. Sarah tried to break us up, but his adrenaline was running high. It was futile. In the end, he got the better of me. Ugh. He pushed the wooden bat into my throat. My air passages clung onto scarce breaths. S stop Sarah tried to push him away. Egg. You come into my house, steal away my life, my face, why don't you just die? He raised his fist to make one final blow to break my neck and silence me forever. The gunshot rang in the air like a blade. The man in front of me crumpled into a limp pile. Sarah brought her gun with her. Why am I not surprised? A second passed and Sarah fell to her knees in tears. I ran to her and held her in my arms. Her eyes were wide and glazed over. I shot you. I... I... didn't know what to do. I... He wouldn't stop. Shh. I know, honey. I know. But I shot you. Tears began to well up in her eyes. She didn't sob or cry, though. She just let them fall, 
almost confused at the wet fluid running down her cheeks. No, Sarah. I wiped her tears off patiently. Hey, look at me. I placed my hands on her face and looked into her eyes. Look at me. I'm still alive, aren't I? I'm still here. She stared back through the tears. For the briefest of moments, a flicker of doubt crossed her face. I expected her to ask something, to make sure. But Sarah just gave a tired, desperate nod. She rested her ear on my chest, comforted by my beating heart. I'm shaking. I guess you never really get used to shooting a person, even in my line of work, especially if it was a loved one involved. It just messed with me. That's a good thing. It was terrible that I had to do it to you, though. Kinda. I'm gonna need therapy after this. You did what you had to do, Sarah. Don't blame yourself. It's over now. Just in case. Let's forget this ever happened. Yeah. I held her tighter and she snuggled in my chest. Oh, I hope this is the real Mike. It has to be. Mike. Hmm? I love you. But if you ever show up as two of you again, I'm out. I love you too, Sarah. I can feel a smile escape my lips. Ah, oh, crap. Never again. I promise. This is the bad one. We did bad. Okay, so that was ending six. All right, now that kind of helps me out a little bit. At least I know what I should be doing. I need to go back through, see if there's any other options that I missed and find out what I need to do to get the remaining three endings. So just hang tight for me and I promise you we'll get through this. Okay guys, I think we're at the light at the end of the tunnel. It looks like what I need to do in order to get the other three endings that I'm missing is actually all the same. I need to disagree with everything that Mike says but tell the truth on everything that Sarah asks me about. So if I do this, I should actually be on my way to finishing this visual novel. Uh, okay, so that was Mike saying that again. I just need to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Tell the truth. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so she turned to the other Mike again. So Mikey. Did anything special last night? Let me save. <laughs> okay. Huh? Went around town? Had a good time? Sarah, is this another one of your random questions? Nope. So, did you go anywhere else? Um, not really. Why? By the way, those are really nice glasses. Are they new? Uh, got them yesterday? Oh, right. Yeah. Yesterday. I guess I forgot to mention it. Is it a big deal? You know how forgetful I am. No, of course not. So where's your old pair? That old thing? I, I threw them out. They were falling apart. You've heard to me about them ever since. I thought I might as well. I see. Yeah. Something, something's off. Something is so off right now. It's amazing. Come on, Sarah. I hope you're not implying that I'm faking just because I have new glasses on. Definitely not. It has nothing to do with your new glasses. Although, Mike. Care to tell me why this other Mike has your old ones? Sarah points at the grimy pair of scratch glasses perched on my nose. What? I... I, I don't know. He might have gotten his hands on them. What? It's far more likely you got a new pair because the old pair was still stuck to the original mic. Look at you, Sarah! That's preposterous! I'm talking the two versions of my boyfriend here, so I am all for it at this point. You didn't really believe I had that memory loss, did you? I knew you attacked me, but I had to make noise to alert Sarah. What? I feigned memory loss to buy time, maybe even lower your guard. My main goal was to get Sarah downstairs and catch you out. I knew I couldn't get rid of me. Uh, I knew you couldn't get rid of me once I made the noise. Okay. 
There was something weird about you. Just a gut feel, I guess. Five questions in, I knew you were faking. Nice try, though. But, but everything I said was the truth. What a person says isn't as important as the body language they project, hun. Or in your case, your apparent lack of them. Oh, so is he just like standing straight up just answering all these questions? You may have Mike's face and memories, but darling, you gotta work on your acting. May I suggest jazz fingers next time? Look, I don't know what your deal is, and I don't think I want to know. But just get out of my life and stop using my face. Give it up, perp. Oh, he's about to reveal himself. I guess I got caught. His inhuman laughter pierced my ears and made goosebumps prickle at the back of my neck. Sarah and I watched as the man with my face smiled. His eyes glowed bright red in the darkness, emitting their own light like an ember. But we were having such a good time, Sarah. Darling. I was with you the whole night. I bet you didn't even know I was fake before this scum got lucky. Yeah, but I knew something was off. Piece of advice though. Next time, pick a dumber combo, bucko. He was still wearing my face. He looked genuinely hurt when he spoke again. Everything I said was the truth, Sarah. I am still Mike. Heart and mind. I am he and he is I. Give me a week, and even you won't be able to tell the difference. A week? What does he mean by that? After all, if I had the memories, personality, and essence of someone, how can you say I'm fake? Um, you have those <laughs> freaky glowy orbs for eyes? I would say that's a pretty big giveaway. His face contorted into amused anger. Mike, look out! Uh-oh, better save. The next thing I know, his long arms were outstretched, making a grasp for my neck. I felt his fingertips graze my skin and my throat made an involuntary gulp. Th that was close. With no time to think, I made a dive for the bat and flung the heavy end into my attacker. But he only parried the blow with his arm. It doesn't look like it was going to stop him for long. Run! Sarah! Back off! Wha- You brought your gun with you? I heard a thud. Better safe than sorry. You mean, better paranoid than- A monstrous force flung my body and I collided with the hard wall of the living room. I felt my ribs break with the impact. Uh, uh, Mike! S Sarah! Bastard! Sarah fired more shots at the creature. One of them grazed on the left grazed him on the left arm. It wasn't enough to maim him. The fake Mike swiped the gun out of Sarah's hands and it careened under the table. Gah! He grabbed Sarah by the neck. Fear bubbled up inside me. It was bigger than any pain I've since endured. Sarah! N no, let her go! Sorry guys, let me save one more time. I feel like I'm gonna have some options because there's three more endings and all of them had that Disagree with Mike, tell the truth. Those were the requirements for him. So I feel like something else is gonna happen And I need to make a choice Sarah groaned helplessly struggling against the inhuman hand that belonged to me a cold sweat enveloped my skin in a thin terrified film Easy now boy. I'm not gonna kill her yet I heard a snicker escape from the attacker's mouth. But look at this mess. You really should have just stayed unconscious when I hit you with that bat. You know? Spared us all this drama. G go to hell. Oh, we will. I promise. After all, the host has to be alive while I eat. I gulped. When you say e eat, d do you mean? No. Not your flesh, boy. Life. Life is so much tastier than flesh. Your memories, your thoughts, your future. All the things that make you human. Mmm. I'll help myself. Don't mind if I do. And when you've been stripped down and barren to the bone, 
you will simply wither away, like a scab that was once flesh and blood. One week to live? I... I'll think about that later. Right now, I have to get Sarah to safety. My eyes darted to her. My insides churned at her labored breathing. The imposter followed my eyes with a knowing chuckle. So, shall we start with your lovely Sarah? Work our way down, piece by piece. Sarah struggled as the grip on her throat tightened. The creature started to lift her up from the floor by her neck. S stop! Stop! Please! I beg you! Please! I I'll do anything! Anything! The bat fell from my hands as I surrendered. All hope lost, my knees buckled, and I crashed to the floor. Anything? What could you possibly give me that I can't take, human? You did get found out by a local police officer. Looks to me that you need help crafting more, a more human image. I'm a writer. I do that for a living. Fake Mike's ears pricked up. A grin spread across his face. Just let her go. Please. I don't know how, but I'll make it worth your while. I was still contemplating my, f my fate when Fake Mike let out a sudden yelp of pain. It seems that Sarah kicked him in the nuts. a girl, Sarah! As his grip loosened around her neck, uh, Sarah broke Fake Mike's fingers down to his knuckles. Sarah's hardcore! He screamed in fury. Sarah dropped to the ground, gasping for air. <coughs> Mike, you always did talk too much. <laughs> Fake Mike let out a growl as he lunged for Sarah's hair, but Sarah managed to slip away from him. Sarah, get out of the house now. Get out while you can. Idiot! Like I'm going to leave you to be eaten. She sprinted upstairs to find another weapon. You stubborn... You'll get cornered upstairs. Ugh. Angry black dots began to dance in my vision. The pain in my side poked my consciousness, prodding my vision to wither. Yet your ribs are bro broken. I, I can't lose consciousness now. I, I was jolted awake by the sound of a huge crash. Sir, ow! How long was I unconscious for? The stand clock informed me I've been lying there for about 10 minutes or so. I sighed in relief. Looks like I haven't been out long. That's a long while to be unconscious when, you know, there's like a killer in your home. I tried to stand up. Ugh. My ribs. But I have to get up. I crawled towards Sarah's gun under the coffee table. Apart from the crash that woke me up, everything was dead quiet in the house. I didn't know what I hated more. The silence or the anticipation of Sarah's screams. Is anybody even there now? I wiped the blood dripping off my chin and steadied myself. I have to be sure. Ugh. My sides felt like they were on fire. Every step I took sent a jolt of pain throughout my whole body. Oh, yes. Those stairs are going to be a fun ride. I made my way to the second floor with little ease. This is actually a huge departure from the other endings. This place didn't feel like my house anymore. Like I entered another dimension that looked the same but was not the least bit similar. Tiny beads of sweat popped across my forehead. I held the gun close. Don't panic. I have to focus on protecting Sarah. I don't care about what happens to me. I just want her safe. Sarah, if you're there, please call out to me. Let me know you're here. I waited for a couple seconds before my ears picked up a muffled sound. Mike, it came from the guest room. I hurried over to the door and tried to open it. Sarah? Oh, Mike. I'm so glad you found me. I frowned. There's something weird about the way she sounded. Did he take her appearance instead? Can he shapeshift like that? But I couldn't quite make it out. Get me out of here, Mike. I jiggled the lock, but it didn't open. Ugh, I'm scratched up good. We have to get out of here before that monster comes back. I winced again. I don't... Is this really Sarah? Her voice sounds really strange. But I shrugged it off and continued to push the door open. Give me a second. I tried again, but the door wouldn't budge. 
Sarah, I think the door might be stuck. Don't worry, I get you out. Promise. I tried kicking the door. The pain shot up my leg like a bolt of electric fire. Now, but now was not the time to be a sop. I kicked it a couple more times. Each was glowing red pain. Uh, each time was glowing was a glowing red pain in my extremities. I couldn't even say extremities. <laughs> I'm getting too into this. Like, I'm trying to think, like, is this Sarah? Is there going to be two Sarahs on the other side of this door? What's going to happen? Pretty soon, the door showed signs of moving. Mike, what are you doing? It was Sarah, but the voice didn't come from the door. I turned around. In front of my eyes, or in front of me, was another Sarah, bloody and injured, her arm limp at the right shoulder. I stared at her listlessly. S Sarah? Don't open the door, Mike. The bastard is in there. Oh, this must be the choice. Okay. Mike, what's happening? Sarah? There's Sarah in here, too. Mike, listen to me. She is not real. F that. The fake one's inside. I was able to fight it off and lock it inside the room. It kept ramming at the door over and over until the door got stuck. That's a lie, Mike. I ran to the other room and locked it from inside. It destroyed the door, so I can't get out. Oh, there. Okay, it's both of the Sarahs. I'm like, what's going on? Get me out of here, please. Don't listen to her. Mike, look at me. I'm the real Sarah. My mind couldn't believe what was happening. Edges of a migraine pressed at the fingers of my brain. My hands tightened on the gun. If you open that door, Mike, I'm quite sure that bastard is going to come straight for me. It doesn't need my essence. It needs yours. He'll kill me for sure. Mike, listen to me. I'm tr it's trying to trick you. You have to believe me. Mike. Mike, please. The Sarah in front of me took a step forward. I pulled the gun nearer to my chest, but I couldn't bring myself to aim it at her. She stopped. Get back, Sarah. L let me think. Just get back. My heart rammed in my chest. Oh, this is intense. I knew I had to calm down. At this point, I wouldn't be able to think clearly. Oh, who am I kidding? Even on a good day, I can't deduce the truth like Sarah. I'm no detective. Mike, please, you have to shoot that fake Sarah. Uh, just what she wants, isn't it? Don't listen to that monster. If we just leave it here, we can escape. It's just desperate to get out, Mike. Mike, please believe me. Put the gun down. Mike, I know it's hard, but you have to be brave. I need to think first. This is too sudden. What am I going to do? The weight of the situation made my hands shake. Can I really murder someone in cold blood? Somebody I love? Sarah did it. If I make a decision too hastily, it's a mistake I can never undo. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. Whoa. I didn't know there was a timer. By the time I got my mouse up, it freaking... Okay. I decided to take a step back and relax. The breath that came out of my lips wavered and shook. Nevertheless, my speeding heart thanked me for the comfort. But I still need to decide soon. Mike, time is running out. Please hand me the gun. What should I do? Let me save in a different slot. I think those were my options. Something bad is going to happen if I don't decide now. But I'm so confused. I need more time. Think, Mike, think. There has to be another way out of this. Shoot. I didn't have time to think it through better. I didn't have a choice. Did I? I watched Sarah's body crumple in the floor in a heap. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that one. I meant to shoot the one on the door. <sighs> oh, well, I need to get all the endings, but I, I, I don't know what I was thinking when it said shoot. I guess I meant the one in front of you, not the one in the door. Uh, my heart ached as she looked at me with sadness and confusion. I... No. No. A low, amused laughter resonated behind the door. Sarah? I ran to her gasping body and cradled her head in my arms. Please, no. I have to stop the bleeding. I have to... But the circle of red grew larger and larger around Sarah's body. 
Sarah! Sarah! Behind me, the door cracked open. Dang it. Dang it! The cursed hero. Okay, so that's ending two. That's good. We just got two left. We've got ending one and three that we need to do. So, let's go ahead and pick don't shoot. I just couldn't do it. I can't shoot her. I can't even aim at her. I looked into her pleading eyes and felt an overwhelming surge of love and helplessness. She has to be my Sarah. She has to be. I stood up with effort and limped towards her. M Mike, behind me, the other Sarah's voice screamed. It's going to be all right, honey. She held her uninjured hand out to me, and I reached for it blindly. A sharp, cold pain went through my stomach. I dropped to my knees as a pool, as blood pooled around my feet. Wait, she stabbed me? Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. You had me worried for a second there. Wait, what? That means they were both fake? The small pen knife glittered in Sarah's hand. But I wasn't really that worried. I can see it in your sad, adorable eyes. I can feel it in my bones. You wanted me to be the real Sarah. It's so sweet how you love me so much, even to the point of deluding yourself. I love you too, sweetheart. She knelt beside me. I flinched as her cold hands brushed the hair off my face. But I'm sorry to say this. I think we have to break up. I found a new host. No, no, does this mean? It's only natural. I mean, why would I have to uh, settle for your troublesome self when a feisty little Sarah is finally locked and ribbon tied like a gift? Thanks, by the way. She put up such a fight. I struggled to get up, but she pulled my hair and pinned me to the ground. Uh-uh. Not going anywhere, sweetie. She smacked her lips in delight. My body felt paralyzed. Already, my hands and feet have become numb. No. Stop. Fake Sarah just giggled. I think I'll have fun with you first. I wanted to fight, to cry out, but the frayed edges of my vision faded steadily into black. The sound of Sarah's scream was my endless lullaby. Ah oh, man. End three. Okay, so we don't have ending one. Is that, do we take no action at all? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just do nothing? Ask a question? Wait! I should ask you both the questions so I can make sure which is the real Sarah. Haven't we established the trivia questions mean jab crap? Well, I'm out of ideas. Fine, make it count then. Admittedly, I was just trying to buy time before the inevitable happens. I struggled to come up with that one perfect question that would lead me to the right Sarah. Finally, a spark flew in my mind. I turned to the Sarah in front of me. The Sarah inside the room is wounded. You told me your injuries. Okay. Which shoulder? Not the shoulder. It has a bullet wound in the right thigh. I managed to land a bullet on it downstairs. I nodded severely. My jaw clenched. The Sarah inside the room didn't really tell me any injuries. But if this is a real Sarah, then she would be correct. Shoot? Wait, did I... Dang it! Every time I think shoot, I mean... Ugh, hang on. I keep thinking the wrong... The wrong shoot option. Like, I think it means that I'm going to shoot the one that I've deduced. Alright. No, we're not going to shoot. We're going to ask a question. And then we're going to think? I need to ask one last question. I turn to the Sarah behind the door. The Sarah standing in front of me is injured. What are her injuries? Dislodged right shoulder and fractured finger. Must have broke it when he was strangling me. Wait, that's it? Everything was made clear by that last question. I was glad I took the time to think. I faced the wounded Sarah in front of me. There is no doubt about it. What, what do you mean? Huh? I just 
couldn't do it. I can't sh wait. Is this the same? Ugh. Okay. So I need to do the thinking. Okay, so we don't shoot. And then we ask a question. Then we ask a second question. Well, we don't shoot, right? No, we do shoot. God dang it. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. He's like, I got it. And I don't. I'm sorry, guys. This is probably the worst way to end this. It's the last ending. And I just need to get it. I just want to have it. But now you guys know what I've been going through. Okay, shoot. Please. The sound of the gunshot made my ears ring a note I will remember forever. There we go. We finally did it. Sarah crumpled to the floor. I brought the gun down to my side and walked over to her. I looked in her eyes. They were indeed hers. Th this is embarrassing. Being killed by a human. You know what, though? Sarah? She's not afraid of dying. S so... Sarah held up her hand to me. Hold me, Mike. P please. I... I'm sorry. I was just... I took her cold hands into mine and warmed it with my breath. Monster or not, this was my Sarah. Knowing that it isn't didn't matter at all. Not right now, while she is helpless and dying rapidly in front of me. Reluctant, reluctant tears fell from my face. I know what Sarah wants for her birthday. Stop talking. You'll just strain yourself. She'll never tell you, but I know what it is. Something borrowed. Something blue. <coughs> Dark blood spluttered out of Sarah's mouth. She shivered. Mike, be careful. You know about us now. Th they won't like it. What? Who is they? They might... <coughs> I... Cold. Mike, what's happening? Are you there? Please. The real Sarah's voice called from inside the room. I turned to the door and looked back at the fake Sarah. Go. Sarah, I'm okay. M Mike? I'm here. I walked to the door. Everything's okay now. I'll get you out of there. Mike, I... I thought... Sarah started to sob. I waited patiently behind the door. Pretty soon... I heard her sniff and take a couple of calming breaths. Okay. I'll push the door. You pull it open, alright? On three. Three! The door finally gave way and Sarah jumped into my arms as soon as it opened. My ribs complained and I croaked in pain. Almost at the same time, Sarah winced because of her injuries. We both laughed. How did you know it was me? I was really worried back there. I... I just got lucky. What do you mean? I thought you had some sort of plan. Yes and no. It was the long shot. It didn't come to me at once, after all. So what's the point about asking about her injuries? To stall for time, originally. But it actually managed to prove my theory after all. A theory, hmm? Apparently I missed it because... Well, because I couldn't hear her voice. But, uh, yeah, because I shot her and then she killed me and just bad things happened. My voice? I hope the creature wouldn't remember that little detail. When you first called me, you sounded really strange. Your voice. It was raspy and sounded like it belonged to a different person. And then, while I was asking you the question, you suddenly mentioned the strangling incident. That's when it all clicked. You were strangled just recently. That's why you didn't sound like yourself. There was significant damage to your voice box. The other Sarah's voice sounded just fine. Ooh, Mike, look at you being all clever. You're right. What? You did get lucky. It was just a stressful situation, all right? It's the most my brain could come up with. Sarah grinned. She pushed my old, grimy glasses up to my nose. I guess we have to be thankful for the little details. Is it over, Mike? I hope so. But as we turned to look at the fallen imposter, it had disappeared from sight. 
Red drops of blood made a trail for the open window. It escaped! I didn't say anything. I know I should be worried or alarmed that the creature was loose, but I just didn't care at the moment. Seeing Sarah lifeless, with blood curdling on the floor just a while ago, and now this Sarah alive in my arms, I can't shake the feeling that I've been given a second chance. I held Sarah in my arms and hugged her tight. Do you think it'll ever come back? What? Well, if it does, we'll be ready. Ha! Oh, we did it! I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is the true ending. That feels like a true ending. That feels like the best outcome for all of the characters. It was just done so, so well. I'm glad I, I like push through it because for the first like 20 30 minutes I was not making any progress and then by the time I realized what disagree with Mike meant and what I needed to do it finally clicked and I got some bad outcomes and things like that but hey we got all of the endings so that's great that's awesome okay so thanks for playing thank you guys for watching I really really enjoyed this game and apparently it's just been Greenland on Steam it's an entirely free game. They're just trying to do this to get their name out there, to get people interested in what they're doing. And I think they have done an amazing job. Okay, so we got all the different slides you can take a look at. That's cool. What's locked? What, did I miss something? Are you kidding me? How did I miss an image? I have no idea. Okay, apparently I did one thing that wasn't, uh, or I haven't done something that requires a different slide, but I got all nine endings. I'm really satisfied and happy with that. I'm not gonna go through the game with a fine tooth comb to find out what slide I'm missing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Let's just say my imagination is having practice. What? Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Look at his face. That's amazing. Um, let's deny Sarah. Please, I told you everything I can. No, you didn't. You're a liar.